everyone, welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas 2020. I have so many things planned this year. I actually have a calendar so I can stay on track and um, pump these videos out for you guys. So I'm super excited about that and I hope that you will join us for the next 25 days right up until Christmas. Today I'm going to be showing you my front porch decor and I hope that you enjoy. Here's what it looks like from a distance. And I don't have a lot going on up here. I don't like to have a lot because I don't like, number one, to have to store it. But number two, I just don't want it to look cluttered. Um, I want it to look pretty and festive, um, but not just overpowering. So I have a lot of the same things that I had last year, but I did kind of change it up just a little bit. I took the garland underneath our numbers and kind of switched that up a little bit this year. Last year we had it hanging down on both sides as well. Um, and I just felt like the ones on the side got really lost in the trees here beside our steps. So I wanted to do something different with that. And so what I did was I just draped it um, right underneath there. And then what I did was add these little red berry picks from Michael's into the existing garland. I love this garland. It um, is pre-lit and it's from Costco for $39.99 and it is so good. Um, it's just very full and thick, uh, very sturdy, not that like really spindly. Um, so you really get a great um, product for the price. So I just added those little berries in there. Um, on the end I added a pick that I already had but you can get those anywhere. It's just um, a pine pick, just to kind of add a little bit extra to each end. And then down here, I have the same boxwoods that I have had uh, since summer. I didn't really do much to those. Um, I did want to share a, a tip with you guys. So we have squirrels around here that love these boxwoods. And so what I did to keep them out is I took black forks with black rocks and I just went around the base of my um, plant and that has kept them out, which is amazing because they were digging holes every single day and um, this has really helped. So if you have a squirrel problem, uh, I would highly suggest just putting some black forks because they match. Uh, the soil and then some black rocks because they won't dig in the rocks at least these squirrels don't and it has really prevented um, big messes on my porch every morning then up here um, again I have the same boxwood and I just kind of added um, a little bit extra to them to make them uh, more festive so these right here are from Target. They come in a group of three for $15. Um, so I got those and then I got these really pretty picks from Hobby Lobby. And all I did was just um, stake these branches into each side and then one in the middle right here. And then I just went ahead and stuck my pick right down in the middle there and then just kind of um, feathered it out. So just kind of spread it apart and manipulated the branches where I wanted them to go. So I think that just added a really pretty element to it. I didn't have to buy a new plant, a new bush, um, and spend a ton of money. And I did that on both sides. You can see this one over here. And I just like it because it makes it look full. It's got that pop of red that I love to see at Christmas time, but just keeps it kind of simple and dainty. And then up here on the porch, I have my lanterns that I keep up here all year round. Uh, these candles right here are on timers. I would like to put something inside of there. I haven't decided what yet. Maybe some cranberries or bells or just some pine branches. Um, I'll show you guys that on Instagram when I get that added. But I have those there. Again, they are on timers, so they go off every single night uh, at the same time. And then over here on my bench, I always get asked where I got my bench and I got it from Target like seven years ago. Um, 
So I'm not really helpful uh, in finding one um, or a link to one. But up here I just have this scarf that I got at Target Dollar Spot uh, last year, I believe it was, but you can find these anywhere. And then I have my skates that I got on eBay a few years ago. I just looked up vintage ice skates and I think these were like 12 bucks. So I have those and then this little lantern. And then I just have this pot from this summer um, that I put some of that like white batting stuff in uh, to kind of represent snow. And then this tree is from Hobby Lobby um, a few years ago, but I mean, they have trees every single year, so wouldn't be too hard to find. And then down below, I still have Mr. Fox. And then our main rug is still the same from fall. Uh, I just added this Happy Holidays rug to it, which is from Target this year. And then over here on the left, I have got um, my boots. So I, I know some of you are like, are you serious? You decorate with hunter boots? No, not normally. Um, so I had purchased these for myself a few years ago and they came and they were like my normal size, but fit like they were two sizes too big and I could not return them. So I just decided to decorate with them and I have had them on my porch for like the last five Christmases or so. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth, but yeah, normally we don't do that around here. I have got my lantern down there that again is always here on my porch. And then I've just got this pot that um, I got from Michael's a couple years ago. And I stuck another one of those trees in there. It's um, exactly like the one over there on the bench. And then I have my peace sign. Um, I made this a few years ago as well. I just stenciled out the letters and then uh, freehand painted them. And then just kind of roughed it up a little bit with sandpaper. The last few years I've had lights around it. But this year I just decided to um, keep it plain and simple and I took the lights off because I have more going on up here this year than I did in the past. I have the same two swags that normally hang in front of the pillars, but this year since I decided not to do that, I went ahead and added it above the door and I like it a lot better. For one thing, it puts a lot more light up here on the porch, which I really enjoy, um, but it just kind of decorates this space and makes it a lot more cozy in my opinion. And so I just kind of uh, hung those both in the middle and then swagged them a little bit and doubled them up on each side. So normally they would hang down past um, our ring doorbell, but obviously we didn't want that because then it would cover up the camera. And so I just doubled it up and hung um, the bottom of the swag right back up there uh, at the top. And so it just kind of um, makes it a lot more full. I went ahead and added some of those red berries as well from Michael's that I added to the one underneath our numbers. And then I found these little bells at Hobby Lobby this year and I just liked the way that those looked. And so I went ahead and um, added those to that as well just to kind of bring another texture into the picture and I liked kind of the gold shiny but yet it wasn't like uh, bright and shiny. It was still kind of a little bit dull. And then on the door, uh, I have this wreath that we've used for a few years. It is also from Costco and it is pre-lit uh, by battery. You can either do white lights or multicolored lights. Um, and I just really like it because it's again, nice and full. It's got pine cones and magnolia leaves and it just hangs really, really well. Um, it's just really good quality. And so that is what that looks like. Again, I don't use a lot of decor. Um, I just like to keep it simple. And even what I have might be a lot for some people, um, but just kind of make it work for your space. Some people have a much larger space than this. Some people have a much smaller space. And so you just want to make the space work for you. Um, everybody's budget is going to look different, but work with what you have. Um, think outside of the box and use things inside of your home that you know you may not otherwise think that you can 
decorate with. I like to keep it simple. I like to use things that I use throughout the year. Uh, like I said before, I don't wanna have to store a ton of stuff. And so the more minimal and simplistic that I can keep it, uh, the better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that video and I would love for you to jump over to Instagram and follow along, um, tag me and show me all of your different front porch decor ideas and the different things that um, you're doing around your home to decorate for the holidays. I would love to see it. Also, I post Elf on the Shelf over there every single day. This is our ninth year of doing it and we have tons and tons and tons of fun doing that. Um, so if you're looking for some different ideas, that is definitely the place to go. Friends, until next time, remember, what if says fear, even if says faith. Create a life that you absolutely love living, even if. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.